Hi, welcome to Hotline's new battery solar water pump kits. The products and kits themselves have been developed in response to an increasing requirement of fencing off of water courses in order to meet the European water regula regulations. The fencing of water courses protects the riverbanks from erosion, deters poaching and contributes to a cleaner water way and keeping livestock away from direct contact with the water sources. Uh, these kits enable easy, clean utilisation of existing water sources by pumping water directly to the trough and drinkers as it's required. Um, you can also use the kits to transfer water from storage tanks, water butts, whichever way and means you use to capture that water. The kits themselves include a master box, which internally you can house a 75 amp hour or 110 amp hour battery. You have an on off switch, you have a battery push switch, which gives you indications of how your battery is charged, whether it's low or whether it's fully charged. Numerous different terminals to connect to the water pumps and the flow pumps and all the other parts of the kit required. One of the most important parts of the kit is the pump itself. The pump we're using is 360 gallons per hour, which on tests we've used it on 95 head of cattle and that's keeping them well watered throughout the season. You're getting 30 meters of hose and a connection which is used to connect to the water trough itself. Also in the kit you've got your float switch which you're monitoring your water levels at all times making sure your livestock have enough water. On the solar option we have a 30 watt panel, 5 meters of lead and a nice big stand allowing the panel to be above the hedgerows. Also included in the kit is a drill bit if required. Back to the master box, internally because of the solar option we've put a built-in charge regulator and that stops decharge and overcharge of the battery. Okay, so that's the kits. Let's go out and install them. Okay, now you've been introduced to the battery water pump kit itself. We're now going to install the individual components. We're going to start off with the float switch. To fit the float switch you've got, you need a battery drill, adjustable spanner and the drill bit that's included. With the drill, with this drill you need to take it to the 16mm fitment size. As you can see I've already pre-drilled the hole into the trough here. Taking the float switch itself, take the nut off, thread the leads through the hole, making sure that the rubber washer is still on the inside of the actual float itself. When mounting it inside, you are mounting it so the actual float switch rises up and gives you the maximum water level. So always allow an extra four inches from where you're going to mount the switch to the top of the trough. Thread the nut back over the leads. Again, making sure internally the float switch is the right way up. Take it finger tight. Take your adjustable spanner and just nip it so it's nice and, and tight. On the end of the lead, you have a red and blue 
connector tags going to the red and black terminals on the master box. That's the float switch nicely fitted. Now we're ready to install the actual pump itself. Okay, now we've installed the float switch. We move on to the installation and connection of the actual submersible pump. As you can see, I've already drilled the hole for the fitment for the hose. With the drill bit supplied, you need to take it down to the 26 mil gauge. Once you've done that hole, take your hose, your fitment, slide it over, tighten that up so it's on there nice and tight, remove one of the water washers, insert it into the trough, and tighten up. With these you can obviously get nice big spanners to help you tighten them up but because they're so large you can generally get a good nice tight fitment by hand. Once that's installed we take the cable which is connected to your actual submergible pump we connect it to the master box, connecting the blue lead to the negative black terminal and the live lead to the red terminal. Once you've made those connections we then have to take our submersible pump to the water source. Okay, now everything's connected, all that's left is to install our battery. To install the battery, simply remove the lid. Inside you'll find your 12 volt connection leads. Place the battery inside the box. Red to positive, black to negative. Any slack of the lead, just run it down the side of the battery. Okay, the lid, everything's in, we're ready to go. Turn on the switch. The trough will continue to fill until the water level activates the float switch and cuts out the pump. As animals drink and the water level drops, the float switch will reactivate the pump. Okay, our battery kit's all up, running, filling the trough. 75 amp hour battery will last around about four to five weeks in continuous use. If you're getting bored and fed up with charging those batteries, we recommend that you install or add a solar panel. With a solar panel you get a nice big chunky stand which you can get into the ground. You've got a middle section, slides over, bolts together. Solar panel comes with a five meter lead. The panel we're using is a 30 watt panel. to the top of our stand, south facing, have a wing nut at the back that you can tighten up.
connections are nice and easy. Male and female. Flipping them together. And then taking the other end back to your master box. So the two connections. That's a solar panel connected. Internally in the master box, there's a regulator to stop overcharge and decharge at night. So everything you need is inside that master box.